Welcome back to War with the Zulu, <laughs> Humankind, and we are playing the Harappans. We are in the industrial era. We are about 110, no, 100 turns away from the finish of this game at the slow speed. And we have begun a war against the Zulu. We have this very fortunate starting position where all of this is just ours and there's a huge ocean between us and anyone else. We were isolated for a long, long time, giving us a lot of opportunity to just be really, really strong and big. So now we are a force to be reckoned with. The Zulu are currently sending their troops to try and retake what we have taken from them, uh, sending their Arquebusians, Arquebusiers <laughs> uh, against our Musketeers. And we are also slowly getting some siege weaponry going so we can attack the next city. Let us continue our research. What do we want? Oh yes, army hospital and entrenching school. So we unlock line infantry as well. We want that mainly so we can get eight sized armies going. We got some population loss across the world, but that's fine. We don't really care. It basically happens all the time. Let's get our cannons in here. Good stuff. And these cannons we get on there. Don't want them out on sea, unprotected. And now we sail out over here. They have one ship left standing. But we invite them to attack our fleet as we take their harbor for 500 gold. Like It's, it's not like we need it. But we don't want them to have it. That's really it. And they're losing war support. So we are close to winning. Once the war support goes to zero, we are allowed to get... Um, or rather, they are probably going to offer their surrender, but not until they probably assault uh, the city one more time. So we'll see. Maybe we get our howitzer in... Check. Who are the king in there? Do you need anything? Yeah, we could upgrade you. Let's upgrade you a little bit. Let's give you the cheap upgrades first. All the quick stuff. And then we'll figure out what happens next with you. I need to give these cities names I can actually pronounce. Because as it stands, I cannot. Let's send more howitzers over. At the end, I will have like a regiment that's only howitzers. They are taking down this thing. Oh no. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, what can you do? We have fully done this city. We don't need money, we don't need anything really. Ah, let's upgrade the infrastructure. Definitely do all that. Because that's the best they can do right now for themselves and the Empire. And after that we can think about these things here. Close to victory in the war, yes. Oh! Ah! I tried this in a war before and it didn't work. Like they took this territory away. Just wait a moment here. That's very uncool. Uh... They took that territory from us. My god, look at how much stuff they got. Crazy. So we can't... Like, this is basically how much time you got in the war. So we have won without losing anything. Except for that. That is very mean. I didn't know that was possible. I learned something new today. They took this piece here. I, I really didn't know that was possible. Okay, guys. Off on exploring. That is... I'm still kind of shocked here. 
I didn't know that was possible. I was not aware. I tried that before and it didn't work. And I know that I'm repeating myself, but that's how shocked I am. Okay, what do we need here? Boys and girls. You have pretty much nothing, do you? You don't have this, definitely. Uh, so we put you here, because that's where the game says it's the best spot for you. So that's what we do. We definitely need to quickly put down this spot here. Very good. So it goes back here. And attach it to this. There we go. All is back in order and we got the Temple of Artemis. We could have gotten another wonder, but they, well, I mean, they defended it. It's okay. They, they deserve it. They deserve it. They beat me at my own game here. So we have all these troops. We'll keep it all here because this is the, the, the lowest stability city that we have currently. Um, I'll have to make sure that nothing bad happens here. Could tear down some forests, maybe, to help this stuff. Yeah, I think we'll do that. What's going on here? You guys are not doing anything? Uh, definitely invest in infrastructure then. I will just build all of it. Indiscriminately building all of it. Just going crazy. Let's see. The Combine. The inhabitants of Karma are tired of the Penel perennial chaos that comes with a lack of an official city administration daily life is difficult and without clear leadership the city's economy is not growing as well as it could as a result the citizens have taken matters into their own hands and have formed a number of organizational committees in many matters from agriculture to finance do you wish to step in um no oh, i'll wait let's see how they get by without an administrator this could be a great example of self-governance. I definitely want to build this up so we get more wall real estate. But I think they could use some infrastructure investments first. <laughs> My armies are finally arriving. Hooray. Have a customs unit, hey? Very good. Just get the best out of our stuff here. Chop, chop. Get these trees down. All these temples he built, giving a lot of stability. And yet, this is still very unstable. It's going up. It's going to get to 100%, but it's slow. Oh my god. So much to read. Representative government. Though they have been part of your empire for generations. Well, have they? The people of Kerma have their own distinct culture and traditions. The fact that over the years sparked both celebration and dissonance. Recently, some of the cities more educated and uh, have begun speaking out in favor of representative government modern times have brought a hunger for new ideas and leadership i mean i think we're gonna study this lose some money on it but who needs money not us certainly not us okay so you guys you just sit tight as you are you guys come in and go over there you guys join your howitzer buddies. You guys are sitting tight. You guys are chopping wood. As you would. <laughs> uh, does it help? Not much. Worthwhile. Let's see. Oh, you can use some infrastructure as well. As it seems. A little bit more deliberate here. The human animal. As the civilization grows, you must recognize that your cities are not simply engines of production. They are places for your people to live and find community. With the commons now a bedrock of your empire cities, you must decide what it is your most important obligation to your cities. Public security, the dangers of the world are myriad. 
or a joyful life begets a prosperous one. Ah, oh, let's go with public happiness. And freedom is more than worth a bit of risk, right? Let's upgrade our troops. So we are with the times. And we can afford it anyway, so that's good. Oh yeah. Look at that cost. Oof. They are the Harappa Dragoons. Best of the best. They actually aren't, because they don't even have a veterancy status. But, we're not gonna tell if you're not gonna tell. You guys have one that we will, of course, upgrade. There we go. Your population's war support. Yeah, this is funny. You you always have a war support against anyone. It's it's at 50, generally. But with an ally, it just goes down over time. So it's gonna go down here where the little block is. It's funny because you get this message as if you're about to lose to your ally. Um you're not about to lose to your ally. So it's fine. How's life here? All good? Life here? Also good? Nice. Very good. All is well, it seems. Uh, you guys go chop more trees over there. Go on, chop, chop. It's your job now. Compared to this 20 territory, Beermoss, Line this infantry. Should be referred to as neighborhood. This is gonna be expensive as heck. All line infantry. Let's get even more expensive. Ooh. I'm pulling in um, through my teeth because I'm expecting that we can't afford it per turn. There we go. Now we can't afford it per turn anymore. We'll have to fight that. But it's fine. Well, I want to see the true cost of our army at the height of their power. Oh, bo oh boy. You guys. There we go. Okay, 150 gold is it right now. Uh, we will need to very, very heavily invest over here in this uh, and, and just sprawl out here. That's what we're going to have to do. This it's Yeah, that's where it's at. That's what will need to happen. Uh, I think we'll throw all this away for the moment and actually even throw this away and just go ham on these districts here. And we'll build out a little bit north so I can put something here as well with these going as well. See what to research next. Trade insurance. Forests. We can plant forests against pollution. That's good. How far will you push humankind? The Zulu entered the final era. What? That's crazy. How did the Zulu do do? It's always so excruciating to work with you. We don't like each other. Cease this folly, or I will take any actions necessary. Can I join my ally? Like Dear Ally. Well met indeed. Can I join you? I would like to join you in your war. Hmm. 
so nice to see. Really wish I could help you, my Edo Japanese friend. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I don't know how alliances work on that. It doesn't seem you can do really much. Uh, let's send you back home here. Ah, just sit there then for the moment. French warfare. Siege artillery, heavy machine gun, yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> the cap, we don't need that. Let's have trench warfare before we even have typeface. I don't know why we were thrown back to the city just now. No idea. The Eiffel Tower. Proof of what you can do with a bit of iron, a bit of math, and thousands of liters of paint. <laughs> Are there any more wonders? No. We're not in the right era to claim more. How did this Zulu overtake us? Okay, we can create a forest in places. Does the game suggest us where it's the best forest to make? Not really. Okay, let's build some infrastructure stuff, shall we? Let's get the influence, the money. And the rest we'll check out after that. Our, our capital city is so small. It's so small. Also could use some more food production. Where do you suggest we put it, game? Come on. Where are your suggestions? Usually you suggest all the things. It's very red, the Eiffel Tower that is. I'll put it here. Moving pictures. Our scientists in the great heritage are the envy of the world. Engineers working on improvements to early photographic systems have made tremendous breakthrough. By combining still pictures of an unfolding scene, they have managed to create something that feels utterly magical. Moving pictures. When many artists across the empire understanding the power of such a technology, stories can be told with incredible life and emotion. While as an aid to learning, these animated films are unparalleled. What do you wish to first do with this breathtaking new media? Entertain or inform? Let's entertain the people. The end of an ideology axis. Of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy-washy won't be one of them. Right, what do we do here? Ah, yes, oh, of course. You need this. And you also need hamlets, obviously. And we go with the production in this. All good. I could do a surprise war with them. What does that cost us? While well, having this badge that only gains some war support when destroying an enemy district based on the level of badge. Grants us 60 war support. They will call us a traitor. Oh, 
I don't have any grievances. Like, I can't enforce the grievances. You can renounce a grievance. This will also happen automatically after your turn. So you can also use a grievance to justify demands uh, to other empires. They will likely view... Okay. Wait, so if they enter my allies area... I should be able to attack them, shouldn't I? Because we don't have a non-aggression pact. Apparently we... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Damn you. Pull these back here. What do we do here? Food, 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 food. We need food. Do we have a good hamlet? No, we only have these terrible hamlets. So let's get some food going. Up here is the best food. Okay, we build the food in the desert. Two stars away from the last civilization stage. I think I just want to combine for more walls. And this Do you have any good hamlets? Wait, but it's a hamlet, so we'll build it. Our personal little Venice. I like it. This as well at some point. You guys just defend here. We are back in the green, money-wise as well. Those are just palisades or something. Those are not great defenses. Uh, okay. You guys are still exploring, I see. Very good. Tell me what is on your mind. Greeting. Cease this folly, or I will take any actions necessary. You hear me? I will see you. The Zulu are very unfriendly. Okay, trench warfare uh, was researched. Can I upgrade my dudes? I can upgrade these dudes. I can't upgrade these dudes. Can I upgrade any dudes? Well, I can upgrade all these dudes. Let's upgrade all these dudes. What do you become? Oh, no, we can't. We need oil. Uh, do we have oil production? The factory, fair trade. Stock exchange. Let's go with that. We have film before we have printing presses. That's that's the dream. Get some more food going. And Yeah, why not some more defensive stuff? All this stuff because we can. Well, please. 
This is its own unit, the heavy machine gun. Okay. Common curriculum. There's an increasing debate as to whether girls should share the same classes as boys. Some say their education needs uh, are too different and the risk of distraction is too high. While others argue, well, girls are pretty, aren't they? And we have no self-control. Lovely. Uh, while others argue the segregation of the sexes mean no level playing field for women, then there are the rich and the powerful men who bristle at the idea that women might one day become the equals and would pay handsomely prevent this. Who do we listen to? Integrate. Get the heck out of here, everyone else. I'm not even going to look much at what we can get. Go away. Ideology access. Go away. Said for unswerving dedication to a cause. All this foolish other stuff. Right. So, population, we're almost there. Or did we do no, That's what we just got. Uh, we need more influence. How did this Zulu beat us? How, how, how? Have a bit of trouble with these guys, with your lancers, your knights. My god, I'm running around here being capable of building machine guns basically, and everyone else is like, look at our horses. But that's the nature of these types of games. It's kind of normal. It's part of the whole experience. Okay, uh let's build some forests, shall we? Let's let's plant a bit. Go. Get some coastal forests going. Want to reduce some of the pollution that plagues the land. Am I not using this right now? So might as well forest it up. And beside that, we're just gonna bump through the ages here. That shifted a little bit. Our allies have taken this. Written word was previously available to a small, often wealthy elite. Now, knowledge and propaganda can be distributed to the masses. Yes, is that not fantastic stuff? Ah, finally, we can go for coal. Get a colony blueprint, rail assisted construction. Labor charter, what is this? Okay. Not bad. I don't see oil yet, so. The invention of movable typeface is a great breakthrough, but it has the potential to cause massive disruption to existing powers. Via the printing press, ideas both profound and dangerous can now be easily disseminated. Artists are in the vanguard of this revolution. Um, every human soul, art needs to remain free. Art is to speak and show the truth. You can't gag and bind it. Yes. I mean, you can, but it's not going to go well for anyone. I so wish I could join your war. Let's see. Almost there. Oh, no, we could declare war. I think we're gonna do. All right, let's. Ah, I thought I had a little bit more time between clicking that and actually going. But that's fine. So what do we want to bring? Ah, right. I can't upgrade these. I don't need... I don't have oil. So let's bring our armies to bear. And we'll go for this city there. These guys will leave behind. 
And these guys we send to take care of that. Let's upgrade a little bit. Where it makes sense. We don't need anything like food or so. No. Alright, and I leave it at our war declaration for now. Thank you very much for watching. We will see the battle for Estegrom very soon. Sadly, the monument have been t has been taken already by our ally. But it's fine. Still in the right hands of the Edo Japanese there. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.